We wanted to do this for everyone on this campus to educate them and to empower them to want to create change. I'm here representing students against mass incarceration. I'm calling for an end to the war on drugs. Due to the so-called war on drugs, our, pre our prison population has exploded from 300,000 prisoners to 2 million. Today, 2 million prisoners and over half of these prisoners are African American. These people grow up poor. They don't have anything to look forward to. There's a broken education system in Chicago. There's no reason why there should only be three good public schools in Chicago. And majority of these students that go to these public schools, once again, black and brown faces. <coughs> black and brown faces. I was in a class once with 10 people. I'm an English lit major. And I was the only Latina in that entire class and the only woman and the only queer person. And so I say something, and everyone attacks me. My professor attacks me, and I have never felt more violated in my entire life. Whatever I decide, USC told me that I could use this network as much as I possibly could. And it's unfair that I have to pick on what side of myself I want to be. I choose not to do that. USC needs to change this. Because if we are ever to change and unite as a people, we must first adhere to everybody's culture. I will not be used by this institution to serve this institution's needs. I belong to my community. I will fight for my community. Tooth and nail and fist, I will fight. I am not a token. We need to spread this awareness across the entire campus. Hey, we're black students on campus. We're here to stay. And guess what? All these people that are standing around, we're united. We're united. We have all. We all have different issues. We all have different causes, and we're going to speak up about them. We're going to act on them. We're the creators of the change for the future. I saw so many people walk by not knowing what was going on and by not knowing by not knowing what was going on um, they asked questions and found out what was happening and that was enlightening and they gained knowledge from that so I think it was very very effective. There was a moment where I was just kind of like looking around and felt everyone's energy because everyone is so articulate like is and are really really hitting home for a lot of the things that I, I express to my friends like why aren't we having solidarity work, why aren't we working with black students more, why aren't we working with queer students more. We need students to come together and be participating and not be apathetic. I think that we come here today and I think that it's important for administration to understand that students at USC are still struggling with certain things that haven't been dealt with, are still not, not okay with fences around campus. We're not afraid to speak up and even though it's our institution that's exactly the reason we're here, because we love this institution, we love USC. And exactly, they, they taught us to fight on it. So we're gonna fight for what we believe. Being that it's Black History Month, I feel like it's time, this is the perfect forum to address everything that we needed to address for the longest time. I feel like this is the perfect event to make coalitions that have needed to be built a long time ago at USC. Just because be it reflects not only the student body population, but the student causes. So the effectiveness of this is right here. You have people sitting here, like, instead of going to class, they shouldn't, but instead of going to class and listening to Martin Luther King say what he said years ago and is still relevant today, that's, that's the thing that's the craziest. It's still relevant today. So why are we still not mobilizing? Why are we still not moving? Why have we stopped? Why have we become apathetic? This combat's on